Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to my first um, gun review for uh, Phantom Forces. So, as you're actually seeing, uh, probably right now, or you probably previously saw, um, was my little setup of how I'm actually testing this to prove that I'm not just like pulling these numbers out of thin air. Uh, then the second picture you will have seen would be the spray pattern for the AK. So, um, obviously I'm going to be reviewing the AK today. So. I'm going to go ahead and start getting right into the stats while you guys can kind of enjoy the gameplay in the background. So the AK-12 fires at a um, rate of fire of 630 rounds per minute and has a 2.2 second reload, which I haven't actually tested on my daily gun, but so far it seems about standard besides like the AUGs since they seem to fire a little faster. Um, the gun is a, um, obviously, since it can do 33, uh, it does 33, 20 damage, 33 at, uh, uh, close to range, and 20 damage at very long range, um, with body shots, and we'll do 44 to 28 damage, uh, 44 at close and medium range for headshots, and 28 damage at long range for headshots. Um, so this gun has a 1.1x headshot multiplier, and will be a 4 to 5 shot kill, or a 3 to 4 shot kill, depending on whether or not you get a headshot. And, I mean, I believe you should have to get two headshots that may drop it from, like, I may make it, like, only a 3 shot kill. There's no, like, 3 or 4, I think, if you get two headshots. So, those are basically, like, the solid stats of the AK. Um, as far as I can tell, there are, there's no, um, decrease in damage for wall banging the enemy. So, as far as I'm concerned, wall banging as much as you want with the, um, AK-12. And those are basically the hard stats. Now, um, one thing that I would like to recommend for the AK is using the semi-automatic mode as, one, I haven't actually hard tested this, but it appears as though if you have a really good trigger finger, you can actually fire the AK faster than 630 RPM if you fire it in semi-automatic mode. And also, it appears to have uh, less recoil and be a lot more accurate. But besides that, and my kind of recommendation, this is really it, and I know this is kind of short for the first episode, but it is kind of the first episode, so I haven't had the time to, you know, kind of get adjusted to testing everything. But I hope these uh, stats maybe help you, and should you guys uh, want me to, I can release, like, the footage of me testing it on both the screens, showing you, like, me shooting it, and then uh, showing, like, you know, the health drop on the uh, person I'm shooting. So, um... I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Uh...